Hello everybody, it's John G back again with another video. I just want to thank all my supporters in the past for following me and do I got a great video for you. I've been involved in digital assets the last three years and I understand and now that I'm here El Salvador has that as an official currency. I'm down here at Bitcoin Beach or on the map you'll find El Sante and I'm renting the token room here and I found out when I rent the room I'm gonna get some tokens back and today the person that's gonna explain what tokenization is is Rohit. Rohit come on and have a seat here. So Rohit I heard that you're gonna give me tokens for staying here for five days. Can you explain to me what tokenization is? So the basic idea in tokenization is to automatically convert your customers into your investors. When a customer comes and he consumes your good, the good in this case is this room, he should automatically start also getting the benefit, the financial gains of, of the room where he spent money on. If you could do that, then you can create a natural base of investors who are your customers and, and some of those customers will, will become investors and some of the investors will become customers. So it becomes a much more uh, positive cash flow for the property and, and, okay. and, and, and then, it, and, and then it, it's easier to start new properties uh, and, and you can expand those properties much, much better. So that's the basic idea in tokenization. So if you are staying, and suppose you are paying $60 a night, $5 of that would be going to buy tokens from the existing token holders. Okay. And every time someone spends $5, uh, every $60 per night here, $5 of that money will go and keep on doing this, buying the tokens from existing token holders. Since the supply of tokens is constant, like for this room, we have only 2,000 tokens. So, so, so as time passes by, those $5 will start adding up and the value of the token will keep on increasing. And the people who stay longer will get more money back on their tokens or if they don't want the money, they can come back and stay again using those tokens. So, so that's the whole idea of tokenization. But as a principle, you can do this for everything, just not room. So this is just an experiment we are doing. Okay, so uh, how do I store my, my, uh, my tokens? Do I put it uh, in an exchange or how would I store that for safety? So what we have done to make it simple for people that you can store your tokens directly onto your Bitcoin wallet, a Bitcoin address, and you don't even need a wallet now. Every Bitcoin address has something called a private key. You okay. should store your private key very safely, just like just like you do your passwords. Okay, we, we okay. recommend two official apps. One of them is JustNote.cc. The second app is called Bitwarden. Okay. We have the links to both of this in our official tokenization page. You simply give us a Bitcoin address, and we'll give you a token on that. So we use another blockchain called FLO Flow Blockchain for the data that cannot go onto the Bitcoin blockchain. But for that, we don't need another address. From your Bitcoin address, we really? can extract. That's simplicity. Ex simplicity. That's simplicity. Extract the flow address. Uh, when I was in, uh, I guess, El Libertad a couple days ago, I noticed a Chivo machine there. Can you explain how that works? So what we have is Chivo ATMs in El Salvador. In Chivo ATM, you can show your Bitcoin, you can show your Bitcoin wallet and give Bitcoin to the ATM. And the ATM will give you US dollars back. All you need is a local is a, is a phone number, okay? either local or international, and you it's it's, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. You get a great rate, which is almost almost like a global official rate. Give your Bitcoin, get dollars, put your dollars in, get Bitcoin. Beautiful. Okay. Is this part of the fourth evolution that I've been hearing? We think that the 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 initiatives like making Bitcoin as a as a legal tender is equivalent to the fourth industrial revolution okay. because it's a new efficiency revolution in financial transaction gains okay and, and because of that we believe that people of El Salvador because El Salvador is the first country to do it they will gain massively and it will give make them really really rich over the next 30 years on per capita basis uh, I have to tell you I, I really admire uh, your president President Bukele here um, he's done a lot of great things uh, for his people um, you know he's, he's he's already taken the step in making uh, a Bitcoin uh, an official currency, um, how will this help the people of El Salvador down the road, do you think? It, it will create new jobs for them, it will create new trades and industries, it will create a culture of innovation, it will do everything which has traditionally helped uh, Western nations like United, uh, like, uh, like US, uh, UK, even Canada, okay. you know, and, but beyond. Okay. Because we are now talking global scales. 
you know global scales of of participation and and uh, what cousin bukeli has done it's been a uh, uh, extraordinary experiment all of us who are in the crypto world we know that this is special and that's why we are here okay uh, I know South America has many countries is it safe to say that El Salvador is the first country in the experimenting? world what? in me? the world in the world experimenting yeah really is the first country in the world to make Bitcoin as a legal currency there is no other country neither in South America not in North America not in Asia there's one country in Africa, which is Central African Republic, which has come up with, with also the same idea, but the infrastructure is not so good. Okay. They're, they're struggling with internet itself out here. Right, right, so we right. believe right now the only one realistic country is El Salvador. Well, Rohit, I'm very happy uh, to be here uh, at Bitcoin Beach. Uh, I don't surf, but the water is so warm. And I just want to thank you for um, uh, having this conversation with me. So I just want to do a quick time and temperature check. Um, it's uh, April the 16th, 2023. It's about uh, 1 30 in the afternoon and it's like 32 degrees. So I want to thank everybody. This is John G signing off. Peace to everybody. God willing.